What's up, Magic YouTube? It's your boy, the big cat. We're back again, just going through some busted boxes, boxes that ripped and torn, and doing some cleaning here. And uh, yeah, we've got a few boxes we need to move as we're consolidating. So here's some more remnants, a little Brothers War for you. Um, pretty interesting set. You know, I looked, this is when I got a chance to look at some prices before we get going here. Uh, Gix, Muriel, and uh, Portal to Phyrexia are kind of the big ones there. There's this little brother's slot. Harbin, just fine. Don't believe Harbin's worth much. There's our uncommons. I don't think this set has much of, like, cards that see much play from commons and uncommons. It really is a few mythics here, and the prices drop off pretty fast. So, Swift Foot Boots, not bad. Underground River. Not bad, the borderless ones, the one that's worth a few bucks, that's just whatever. So yeah, this will probably be pretty quick, but you know, we're just revisiting some boxes from previous sets and needed to move a few and I figured why not have some fun. Gwena, Isaac Gaia, so a foil rare there. Um, yeah, probably would have wanted that to be someone different, but that's okay, still a foil rare, Millstone. Some great cards reprinted in these slots. I mean, Millstone just takes me back. What a classic card. Deathbloom Ritualist. Again, just a bunch of bulk there. Kind of a bunch of nobody so far. Um, I'm not sure if there's like a Chase Common or Uncommon. Um, yeah, checking through. I mean, there really doesn't seem to be one. Haywire Might and Demolition Field seem to be the two, possibly. So we'll keep an eye out for those. Door to Nothings. Drafna, so again, just some nothing burgers there. Haywire Might, huh? Keep an eye out for some Haywire Might. Okay, a little punch out token, Keening Stone, not bad. I think it's a bulk card nowadays, but Tokes is welcome. So again, nothing too flashy. I don't think we've even hit a Mythic yet, which is pretty interesting. First Draft Booster box. Love the robot on the front of these draft packs. Sick, though. Frexian Revoker, that's another good card, man. So many of these are playables that are just a dollar now, but oh well. That's what happens when you reprint everything. This guy's kind of cool. Legendary creatures you control get plus and when you sacrifice them. Um, I think that the reason I don't play him in my Legends Matter deck is with that too in Jota. He's really easy to cascade into. Not that that's terrible. Might be playable, actually, with such a low drop. He, he won't cascade anything, too. So it is like a dead loop for his cost. But maybe worth testing. Nice little full art there. Elsewhere Flask, again. Super playable. Hercules Final Meditation. Man, just seeing a lot of nothing so far. So let's see. Sometimes it's the quiet ones, man. Sometimes it's the quiet ones. Nice full art planes. Another millstone. The temporal anchor. Yeah, I don't think that's doing much. Cards look great though, don't they? Got some really nice lighting going on right now. All right. Yeah, we're looking for Lauren, Awake in the Woods, Portal to Phyrexia, Foil Mountain, Ivory Tower, Little Mishra, the rare Mishra. <clears throat> Not the flip Mishra. There are the, this is the flip Urza. The double, they call it pulling a double Urza. Ooh, foil arcane proxy. That's not too bad. I wonder if that's worth anything. A little arcane proxy action. Um, arcane proxy is a fun card. Beautiful. There's our mythic foil. I mean, that is our mythic shot in the box. So unfortunately we won't see anything super dope because that'll be our mythic there. That is our first mythic. Sorry tokens, you're gonna get moved out of the way. Another ivory tower, another Gwena eyes of the forest. Uncommon version of Lauren. That's an interesting thing because they focus so tightly on like truly the lead up to Urza and Mishra's conflict. They really, focused very closely on those specific characters and that's why we got a lot of repeats just a little uncommon there siege veteran so yeah a lot more just bulkage 
A little bummer with our mythic foil there, Arcane Proxy. That is a fun card. It doesn't, it's just a commander card though. Mishra's Bobble, nice reprint. Gix's Command. We're looking for Gix himself, themselves, who knows. We're going to use these cold tabs if we can. Look, I just mangled the pack. Oh my god. It's trapped forever. See, the pull tabs don't work for me. I just end up in a worse spot. The Fall of Krug is our next foil. Chromatic Star. Autonomous Assembly. Assembler. You know, there's some... I think... No, that's not the one. The uh, Foundry Expert is the one people want to make all your tokens. So yeah, so far nothing really to note. I mean, haven't seen any of the big flashy cards yet. Let's see if we get better as we go here. Razor Lash Transmigrant is not going to do it for us. So far, a very quiet box of Brothers War. But let's see. Iker Wellspring. Legions to Ashes. Each target non-land permanent opponent controls and all tokens that the same name. Exile it. Okay, so it's an anguished on making, non-land permanent, and tokens that are copies of it, so that's fine. I mean, what a hard I mean it's a sorcery, so it's just fine, I guess. Hey, there we go. Worm Coil Engine. Always nice to pull one of those. Especially the Retro Frame Worm Coil. Love to see it. It's in great condition, too. A lot of the Brothers War was really jacked up, but these draft boxes, which I got later, might be a later print run, looking really clean. Yeah, that's a beautiful Worm Coil. So, nice to see that there. It's our Mythic number two on the box. Very nice. Mishra's Command. More commands. I don't think any of those commands really went on to do much, honestly. Okay. Halfway through a draft box zone too. There's a brush land, very nice. Little brush land. The allied cover colored little shock lands are in here. Alrighty. Um not shock land, but you know what I mean. Pain land. Do they still call them that? Pain land. Alright, let's see. Can can this pick up here? Christine Talisman, a Mishra's Foundry. Any of these lands that have Mishra's in the name always hold a special spot in Magic, right? This looks like it would have been a brutal draft format. I don't know how it drafted. Ornithopter. Ooh, there we go. Portal to Phyrexia. That's probably the best, like, vanilla card, new card in the set as far as a chase. Very nice to see it. Great card. I mean, played in modern and just an awesome win con. Powerhouse. There's our Haywire Mite. Have to see if it's actually worth anything. All right. There's our stone. Another uncommon sigil. Queen Caleb been Krug. She been Krugin. Krugin for a Brugin. There we go. Oops. Just putting all our stuff away. Liquid metal coating. Diabolic Intent, not a bad card. Pretty fun little playable there. Okay, we're flying through this box, but so far not too much to see. The Burnished Heart. Ashnod, Fleshed me Mechanist, Mechanist, Machinist. Mechanist. Altar of Dementia, very nice little mythic there, actually. So pretty good, we're getting the mythics in that slot. Kayla's Command, I wonder if that affects the collation of the other ones. Cause still, I mean, it's only three, but if it was like normal standard and that's a separate print sheet, we, I bet we could expect a few more, which bodes well for us. We're still looking for Lauren, Brotherhood's End, Underground River. 
Those are the biggies. Death Bloom Ritualist and Foil. So some of our foil hits have just been a total whiff for us tonight. Kind of a bummer. The Lantern. Argoths. I, I don't think this is worth anything. Even though this turns into that flip... Uh, what's her name? Uh, Titania, is it? Yep, Titania, Voice of Gaia. I don't think her rare half is really worth that much. But we'll see. We will see. What is the coolest thing you can find? A little common and foil, Burnished Heart, Tyrant of Care Ridges. Enters the battlefield four damage to any target, and it has fire breathing. Meh. Wow, that's a that's a lot of do-nothing dragon right there. It's a very, very do-nothing dragon. Okay. I'm gonna keep moving here. Elite Vanguard and Uncommon. Uncommon. Ooh, nice little full art brush land. It's not bad. I don't think brush land's the land to get right now, but beautiful full art brush land. Millstone, Urza. So rare Urza and rare Mishra. Not bad. Oop. Just get a little ahead of ourselves. Okay, last few packs. Not sure what we're coming up with here. There's a Power Stone. There's a Forest. Ooh, Platinum Angel. So we did pretty good in our Mythic slot there. All of our Mythics are from this sheet. Mm. Yeah, old Platinum Angel. And a Mishra, very nice. That little flip Mishra chained by Gix. Pretty scary. Very cool. So a little double Mythic pack. Yeah, it kind of makes you wonder, do we have more Mythics coming for us on the normal print sheet? Let's find out. It's been a pretty light if, if it is a separate sheet, but I wonder how it weighs out there. Foundry Inspector, fun little card. And there's another mythic, Serenth Great Worm. Whenever land enters the battlefield, create a tap Power Stone token. Hmm, okay. It's not too bad, honestly, of an effect. Very commandery, especially as a mythic. It's probably a bulk card. But still interesting, but like we're saying, hopefully this is where our mythics come through. Let's see. Iker Wellspring, Visions of the Past. I don't think that does much for us. Another Plower Stone. Ooh, a very nice Cloud Key. It's a good, good card. Simeon Simulacrum. You know, this is a fun card, and I know this card crushes in um, Limited. Uh, but I think this is this card's come around and seen some play. Uh, enters the battlefield, two plus one plus one counters on it. Target creature you control um, for three. I mean, that's great. And then it has on Earth, like, what an aggressive, great card. I used to play a card that, that reminds me of, of Hunting Moa. If you're old like me and you remember Hunting Moa and enjoying that card back in the day, please... Uh, Leave a comment. Black Blade Reforged. Hey, not bad. I think this is actually a mythic as well. Um, maybe. It's hard to tell that symbol gets a little diluted. Maybe it is just rare. It's not that great. Teething Wormlet didn't go anywhere. We wanted it to. It's got cute art, great concept, but it never came to be. There's those, they always show those little guys when someone goes off somewhere and is like, dude, this is the next card, trust me, and it just doesn't ever take off. Ooh, Ashnod's Altar, very nice, very nice. And the Frexian Dragon Engine, very fun. It's a fun little rare, melds with Mishra, so we got the full Mishra meld there, very nice. We'll just put that there, yeah, that's cool. We got the full meld in one, that's pretty rare to do, that's pretty sweet. Someone could have lived their dream in, in the draft or sealed of this and got the full Mishra. Ooh, Sword of the Meek. Very nice card. To hit Lanowar Wastes. Another nice card. That's a playable. If we ever saw one. Good old Corrupt hanging around. Love to ending games with Corrupt back in the day. Just what a, what a back-breaking spell. Ooh, very nice, Mesmeric Orb. Man, our Mythic's just 
going off. Stasis Coffin. Not the power bomb you want it to be. And for our last pack, oh, might actually turn around. Nice little box here. Little Brothers War Action Power Stone. Semblance Anvil. Battlefield Forge. So, not bad. Just real quick as a recap, we'll have to check back on that bulk later, but um, in our Mythic slot, we actually rounded out to eight, so we came back pretty good. Um, Serenth Great Worm's probably not great, but you can see four of them retro frame artifacts, so that was really the slot pulling it together for us. Um, the Mishra and Portal kind of got the big hit there, and boy, would have been nice if one of these was our foil instead of Arcane Proxy, but that's still worth a buck or two, and it's a beautiful card. Check that out. A um, couple of the land cycle. Uh, Gwena Izagaya has gone up a bit, so she might be worth a few in foil. That's not a bad card. Um, and other than that, you know, not much to see here, but you do get a fair bit of rares. I mean, that's one thing to consider is that, like, with this many extra rares, you actually do pull pretty well in these. I mean, some of it's probably bulk for sure, but... We'll take a look at that later. Thank you for joining us. Um, yeah, there's going to be a few more of these cleaning up videos while I just work my way through some boxes i got to move. And I'll catch you guys later. Peace.